my name is Said Suri. I am a social worker as well as social activist currently pursuing development studies at Azim Kandy University, Bangalore. Okay, yeah. Uh, how much, like, what do you use internet for? So, basically, I've been all the time outside the Mohan Kishmir, most of the time, mm-hmm. right now, uh, from the last two, three, four years. So, recently, when this COVID-19 situation emerged out of this pandemic situation, so I had to immediately return to home after a lot of, you know, insistence from my family. And also, on 30th, 31st, 23rd of this March, I returned back, and without knowing how much time we are going to spend here, uh, it, it was completely, uh, I have no idea about it, I mean, how much time it's going to take. So, after returning here, I got a community, I mean, my whole work is dependent on internet, because I do a lot of research, My I'm very much into academics, so, uh, and our university run, goes, I mean, we have fully... IT kind of system. Uh, we communicate with our professors, students, registrar's office. Everybody, uh, every communication happens through internet, basically on email and everything. And uh, the modal website doesn't. I mean, that's very important. Where our schedule is uploaded, our syllabus is uploaded, our course um, guidelines are uploaded. And uh, for that, uh, precisely, I use internet apart from. Uh, kind of social uh, networking sites where I communicate with my parents, parents, sorry, friends, people outside the country, people inside the valley, home I cannot go and meet directly. Uh, so it has uh, several purposes. One is academics, one is social uh, meeting, uh, so, so virtual meetings. And uh, then third is also I'm uh, kind of, since I'm into social work and social activism, so I am connected with larger group of like uh, journalists, uh, larger group of activists across the valley who want to reach out to me, I want to reach out to them uh, to access the information what's happening in Kashmir or I may try to know what's happening in their particular region. So that's completely blocked right now if, if we talk about uh, the work on internet. So after reaching to Jammu and Kashmir, like on some 23rd March, uh, at the same time when the government said that everything should be done. Most of the work should be done from home or digitally, or with end of time, whether it's transaction, it's studies. So similarly, our university has put up this notification and informed all the students that we will be having now uh, online course for the semester, uh, and it will be held on Zoom application, like that Zoom video conference yeah, that we have. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, from week 23rd of March to till date, I have not attended a single class. I missed all the classes. Even I have not been able to access the Moodle page because on 2G internet in Jammu and Kashmir, especially when you are in different regions, so it really sucks. And uh, when I'm trying to uh, open a web page, like simple just open Gmail on my laptop, it doesn't open. And... Uh, uh, or it sometimes it may open, it may take two, three hours, and at, otherwise it mostly it says, uh, do that, what is that, out of time it, 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 it goes back, right? So it doesn't open really. So I'm digitally handicapped, what I can say. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm losing my education, I'm losing all the information which I need to get from internet. If I have to write a paper, I have to write in articles, I have mm-hmm. to do some big up research, I need to download some material from the different uh, library, online library. So I'm not able to really do that and I'm facing a huge loss about it. And the uh, technical thing is when I want to do some sort of transactions uh, and banks are closed, so I can do it because I have internet banking, um, I mean this thing. So, but I really can't do that as well because that's also blocked. I mean blocked in a way, the 2G doesn't, doesn't work for me in that way. Okay, yeah. Um, and like, like, so basically, what you're trying to say is that your entire life has come to a halt. And uh, exactly. See, one one thing is our prime minister has claimed and has suggested as the rather that everybody should stay inside the home. Now, when we say inside the home, a person like me who is all the time around, uh, you know, uh, going uh, around the cities and uh, accessing the information, trying to collect it 
documenting it and then uh, uh, you know presenting it to, to the university and at different levels are uh, trying to publish papers so um, the life is completely paralyzed and uh, I, I i i think i i feel and we are not just in isolation because of covid-19 it's isolation because of also uh, we are not uh, because you know i believe we should be socially connected there should be a physical distance Mm-hmm. in this covid-19 so so we have socially disconnected and physically also we are i mean since we are at home so we are not meeting physically with the people but socially we are completely isolated and disconnected and i think it's a very uh, deep rooted discrimination to the people of the moon kashmir that government is not providing internet to them while the rest of the country has access to it and you can do your work from your home whatever you want to do whatsapp facebook and you can uh, whatever stuff you want to do you know Uh, but i really can't do that i mean just uh, just it's an example that you said that you know try to send us a voice note but i can't send you that even because my internet speed is so low it takes to get a single message to, to pass a single message to somebody uh, it takes it takes minutes while usually a whatsapp takes a second mini second probably to send a message so it takes hours sometimes so uh, yeah i mean uh, handicapped or paralyzed how do you think this works for this kind of situation when we are in blackout it's basically blackout no communication and the worry is right now that you know there are a lot of rumors happening mm-hmm. there have this thing happened there and we can't find we can find we can't find the correct information and mm-hmm. uh, that's what that's the biggest problem also so even like all of the who guidelines which come in from the videos and you know like there are whatsapp bots which have been launched by various uh, you know agencies which give you information about covid-19 are those are those functioning see i would say that uh, when i was outside i got this who kind of helpline number and similar number was initiated or established by the government of india but honestly speaking on the behalf of many people around me that they have not been able to use it uh because it's not functional anymore and it is uh, you know uh, it doesn't make sense you are making lot of things digitally but you are uh, stopping kashmiri people to have that access to digitalization and uh, when you say internet is working in kashmir and 2g internet 2g i don't i don't remember when i was using 2g internet when it i mean when everybody was using it, 2g on the indian in whole india when we talk about mobile network services so uh it i i'm just shutting shut my mobile phone i i switch off my mobile phone literally uh so i may doesn't make any sense to me except uh, yes we can do now all a normal calling is happening but internet stuff doesn't work and it is really we going to um, because it it's not just you know it's not just a blocking the medication it's a matter of students who whose lives and health and who had expectations who has expectations that he will read certain stuff and to have any qualified examination and it's a matter of a person who has got the job somewhere and he's not able to read the email it's a matter of a person that who is uh, trying to communicate with any company uh, for various kinds of dealings so a lot of trade is also happening on the internet so that's also uh, there is huge economic loss uh, happening to the people as well apart from study loss educated and loss of education so <clears throat> because many schools are trying to you know since it's the these this kind of covid 19 uh, uh what should we call this the shutdown uh, or we can say uh, this crucial like situation is going uh, it's unprecedented right now so uh, how long it will go and ultimately it, it it's it's going to create psychological pressure it's it's, it's going to mm-hmm. lead kashmiri community to trauma because ultimately a person who is digitally doing everything if he is not able to do that definitely he will be in huge crisis his man he will go, he will go mad you know i mean he will not be able to uh, do his stuff so simply uh, if you are if you are scheduled in fact uh, is change him uh, not just for one day it's and for entire month so it's it's really going to create psychological problems of course. which cause unheard most of the time yeah and i'm sure you're also not able to uh, get a lot of information about covid-19 because again you don't have 
internet. See, we Proper get internet. only information. We we do get information about COVID-19. That is from the radio. That's from the television. Uh, that's it. Uh, I don't think uh, we get enough information, or at least uh, uh, people, common people who are, you know, uh, in villages and rural areas, they don't you know get information properly on WhatsApp, which is the faster communication right now. I believe uh, they don't, they don't, they can't, you know, use it anymore. Yeah. Uh, also, um, you're okay if I take your name, right? I don't have a problem. Uh, the things we just said about this, I, I don't have any problem. Uh, do you think you'll be able to connect me to some doctor that I can speak to about this? Of course, I'll keep it anonymous. But I just want to understand how, how the healthcare industry is getting affected by this. Yes, definitely. I know some doctors. They have told me uh, they have to, you know, download some uh, reports. Uh, regarding to COVID-19, they have to write, download some material. They also have to download some material. They're not able to do that. But certainly, I will try to connect you with some doctor if I can. I'll okay. get back to you I'll on keep that. it as anonymous as possible if, uh, like, you know, like we'll not take their name or anything. But uh, I, I, I told you that, that, I mean, what I said, you can take the name for, for this. Uh, I don't have any problem. Rest, uh, if you don't want it, that's also fine for me. It's up to you how it works for you. All right. Thank you so much. This is very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.